Welcome to a very foggy Inverness and welcome to the video. Now I caught the 619 train out of Montrose this morning to get up here and I'm about to step on another train over to Kyle of Loch Alsh. Now that's billed as one of the most scenic rail journeys anywhere in Scotland but it remains to be seen if the weather or the ScotRail windows are going to be clear enough for us to see anything. So let's step aboard and find out. Oh, and by the way, when we get to the end of the line, be sure to hang about because I've got a very short but interesting walk to my accommodation. Now, if you're familiar with the geography around Kyle of Lachalsh, you might have an idea of what that is, so be sure to stay tuned for it. Right, I just got a horrible surprise when I got back into the station and looked at the departure board. My train's cancelled. That's because crew shortages, something like that. But I checked with a guy, there is a replacement bus service. And it's not all bad because I'm due to get that train back tomorrow again. So fingers crossed if it's running then, I'll be able to show you a bit of that train journey. But in the meantime, let's go and get a replacement bus. Right, that was an announcement for the bus. It's round the corner here. The bus has arrived. Thank you very much. See you later. I was expecting a big coach or something, but it's just a tiny wee bus. I wonder how busy it's going to be. Right, guys, it's all changed again. It's changing by the minute. We might not be on that little bus after all. The guy was saying he thinks they're sending a big coach for us, which could be more comfortable. And also the windows are blacked out on that bus. So I'm not sure what the view would be like anyway. But to be honest with you, this is just real travel in Scotland at the moment. There's so many delays, so many cancellations, so this is very typical. And we'll get to Kyle eventually. I just hope you enjoy the video. Just to wait for the Aberdeen train to come in, folks. That's, uh, I think it's, that's just funny if you want to go, so there's easily kind of cope with that. If you're happy with your guys just to, you can meet in Dingwall then, it's up to yourself, you know, but... Hello? Folks, can I just remind you, you're, you are obliged to wear seat belts. So as you see here, the small bus it was, but only for the first part of the journey up to Dingwall, and then from there the coach will take us on towards Kyle of Loch Alsh. At this stage, I was just relieved to be on our way. I did have a moment at Inverness where I thought the trip was over before it had even started, and I guess the weather wasn't perfect for recording anyway. Thank you so much. And we're just on the big coach for Kyle, yeah? Yes, I. Right, we've made it to Dingwall. This is part of the route of the train and we are transferring now onto the big coach. Now, I just want to nab one of these front seats. So I've got a bit of a view. On the way here, we stopped off at all the wee stations like Bewley, Muir of Ord, places like that, just to see if there's any passengers, but there wasn't. And now this coach will take us all the way to Kyle of Lachalsh. I think we should still be pretty much on time. Now, for some reason, I'd thought this coach would take us direct to Kyle while the minibus would be stopping at the stations on the way. But I'd picked that up wrong, and as you'll soon see, stopping at small Scottish stations wasn't exactly ideal for a vehicle of this size. The 
it's a bit chaotic because we stopped at this train station. I think it's Loch Luchart or something. But uh, the, there's no way the coach can get down that little road and get turned to get back onto the main road. So the guy's just running down to see if there's anyone waiting there. And yes, I've moved up to the back of the coach. Don't get me wrong, the scenery is absolutely stunning here. And at last the sun's come out, the fog's all cleared, but it's just not quite the same. I was expecting this really nice relaxed train journey today, and instead we're just on a coach on very bumpy roads. It might not have been ideal for the driver, but I really didn't mind the wee intermediate stops. It was a great chance to see the stations and a break from being thrown around my seat. Although new passengers were few and far between. Despite me not exactly enjoying the bus, this is a stunning part of the country, and how much nicer the weather is to what I was expecting. I'm not going to lie though, by this stage I just want the journey to be over. Thanks, mate. Uh, no problem there, mate. Cheers. So there we go, folks. We've somehow managed to make it to the end of the line. Kyle of Loch Alsh, and on time as well. But the journey was horrible. The coach was totally unsuitable for those small roads. He was bouncing about everywhere and my seatbelt must have locked about 10 to 15 times as he slammed on the brakes when something was coming the other way. And from a filming point of view, it was practically impossible. With all that movement, I couldn't keep the camera steady, I couldn't zoom in on anything. And of course, I couldn't just move about the coach like I could on a train. It certainly didn't feel safe to do so. And something else that I noticed that the train lines, for example, if you're going along a lock side, it would really hug the coastline where the coach you're on a road, which is a wee bit further back. And there was normally a line of trees between me and that fantastic scenery. But I've done my best to cobble together what I could. And of course, you've just seen that already. I hope it was okay. Just as I was leaving, I managed to have a wee chat with a guy at the station and he seems pretty confident it will be a train tomorrow. So that's good news. The bad news though, I haven't had anything to eat yet today. I planned to have a nice relaxed breakfast at Inverness, but with all that kerfuffle, I haven't had a single thing. It's a wee bit colder, so I'm now representing Montrose for the next leg of this journey. And this leg will take us from where we are in Kyle of Wachalsh to where my accommodation is in Kyle Akin. And Kyle Akin is on the Isle of Skye. So you know what that means? We're walking across the Sky Bridge.
Man, I thought it was just around the corner, but it's still miles away. Way back before there was even any thoughts of a sky bridge, there used to be a wee ferry that would take you from the train station at Kyle of Lachalsh over to Kailakin. And because of that, Kailakin was quite a buzzing wee place, but now it's just a sleepy wee village. And tonight, when we get to the other side onto Sky, we're going to be staying just on the outskirts of town, but maybe later on we can have a wee wander into town, have a look around, maybe a wee beer. But of course, by the time we get around to that, it's going to be a bit dark. No, I'm not even going to class that as the Sky Bridge, the bit we've just crossed. That's just a wee mini bridge to get us to the Sky Bridge. I just keep having to stop and look back at the light on the hills. It's absolutely perfect. But of course, we are walking into the sun, aren't we? And it's lying so low in the sky now. This is not great for filming. We're not having much luck today. I tell you what, there's quite a gradient in this first bit of the bridge and the wind's getting up as well. We just passed a wee bit of headland there at the end of the bridge and the wind just completely died. Thank goodness for that. But when you think it was so calm in Kyle of Lachalsh, and in fact, it's really calm on this side as well, but up on that bridge, man, it was crazy. But anyway, yes, welcome to Sky. It's always a pleasure to be here. And it's perfect, just at the far side of the bridge and I've found my accommodation already. I'm staying at the Isle of Skye guest house tonight and it only costs 60 quid for the night, which for Skye is quite reasonable. But check-in is not until four o'clock and it's 10 past three. So let's head into town. Ah, oh, that walk across the bridge, it's like a quadruple espresso. It's woken me up like nothing else. I'm not going to pretend that it's been anything other than a disaster getting here today. When you see the reward, the sun going down over the mountains, it's worth it every time. I'm guessing this wee slipway would have been roughly where the old ferry would have arrived from the mainland. Still nice to see an active harbour in this gorgeous wee village though. No bad, eh? I'm impressed. I had thoroughly recommend this wee guest house if you need a place to stay directly across the bridge, and it's only 10 minutes walk from the pub in Kailakin. 
ah, there's not much happening in town tonight, it's a quiet old place, but I've been down to the pub, had a burger for my dinner, and now I'll just get the laptop out and do some work. And we'll do it all again tomorrow. Let's just hope we've got a train this time. See you in the morning. Good morning folks and what a beautiful morning it is. It feels a wee bit calmer than yesterday, but we'll see what it's like at the top of that bridge as we cross back over. But we've got blue sky, we've got frost on the ground, my kind of day. Now today is all about retracing our steps back home, but of course we'd like that journey to be very different to what we had yesterday. Let's see what's in store for us today. I had a wee porridge in the hotel room there, but I'm still open to a second breakfast, so let's see what we can find. I think what we'll do today is try and walk on the other side of the bridge, just because we can make it across safely. There we go. Right, that was far too short a time on Sky, of course it was, but if you're new to the channel, we have been here before and we made a video on it, so I'll pop a wee link in the description below. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning this morning. To be honest, the other side does actually have better views, but on this side we've got a lighthouse, and you know how much I love a lighthouse. I wonder if you can get down there. Of course, the view's better from up here, but I'd like to get a wee bit closer. Ah, okay, we've got a sign here. Gavin Maxwell Museum and Stevenson Lighthouse. For opening hours, call this number. Aye, I bet it's only open in peak season. It looked pretty closed, to be honest, so I'm not sure it's worth the trek to get round there. The bridge was a wee bit calmer this morning. I must say, heading north, I think it is, the views are Unbelievable. Locked in. Hmm. I were back in Kyle now and I was just checking some bus times because one of my favourite places in the world is only about five miles round the coast from here and that's the wee village of Plockton but it's agonisingly out of reach today. It's too far to walk and get back in time for the train. In public transport, it appears to be just once a day and we've missed that bus. You can also get the train there, but ironically, that's probably the train we're gonna be on. So maybe we'll have to come back sometime and give it a video all of its own. I think it deserves it. Well, I think I'll be driving back up here just for the breakfast. Look, there's a train in the station. That's a rare sight in these parts. And it's even got the customary ScotRail dirty windows. This isn't my train, but it's a good sign. I had a wee bit of time before my departure, so I just came down to the coast. But the sea seems to have gone out for the day. But anyway, the good news is, we are on a train today. I just checked the departures from Inverness to Kyle, and the train's on its way. There's good news and bad news. The good news, my train's here. The bad news, dearie me, those windows. But anyway, it is what it is, so let's get on board. So 
for anyone who's not used to doing a journey and wishes to get the best of the scenery for the first half hour or so it will be on the left hand side of the train that's the sea side of the train uh, for the better scenery for the first half hour or so and then after Strath Strathcarn it is fairly even thank you very much that's us just pulling out a Kyle now on time and in a two carriage train I've got a whole carriage to myself I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I approaching Dingwall and with that the best of the scenery is behind us and the sun's dropping fast but wow what a journey That was fantastic and to compare it with the bus, well the bus might get you from A to B but the train's the only way you're going to enjoy the bit in between as well. I would say second only to the West Highland line but it's a very close second. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.